हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल एच सी टू अकाउंटेंसी सो टुडे विल कंटिन्यू विद आर चैप्टर फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ पार्टनरशिप पार्ट टू इन फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ फंडामेंटल्स वी सॉ व्हाट इज पार्टनरशिप डेफिनेशन ऑफ पार्टनरशिप फीचर्स एंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ पार्टनरशिप एंड वी ऑल्सो सॉ द प्रोविजन ऑफ इंडियन पार्टनरशिप एक्ट नाइनटीन इफ द पार्टनरशिप डी इज साइलेंट सो नाउ स्टार्टिंग विद टू सेशन फ्रेंड्स इन क्लास इलेवन वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड the formats and the final accounts of sole proprietorship firm right so what all are prepared in that final accounts so firstly trading account where we put opening stock purchase less purchase return then sales sales return closing stock if there are any direct expenses those are also recorded in trading account and we get gross profit or gross loss from the trading account which is transferred to profit and loss account so profit and loss account start with either gross loss or gross profit then all the indirect incomes and expenses are posted to profit and loss account right so what all will come in pnl account interest received discount received office expenses admin expense selling and distribution expenses and all those indirect expenses of the firm now after putting all the income and expenses the net figure would be either net profit or net loss which would be transferred to the balance sheet so in balance sheet we have assets and liabilities and we have capital to which if there is a net profit it would be added and if there is net loss it would be subtracted so this is the format of final accounts for sole proprietorship firms right and this we know now in case of partnership firm in addition to trading account profit and loss account and balance sheet one more account is prepared which is nothing but profit and loss appropriation account so that is the account which we prepare in case of partnership firm so what is this profit and loss appropriation account firstly we can say it is an extension to pnl account like pnl account it is also a nominal account so debit all expenses and losses credit all incomes and gains and appropriation means like distribution of profit so whatever profit the firm has earned during that period it is distributed between partner and that is nothing but appropriation so this is a format of pnl appropriation account now in pnl appropriation account firstly it would start with the net profit or net loss which are transferred from pnl account so gross profit and gross loss transfer from trading to pnl from pnl net profit or net loss transfer to pnl appropriation and ultimately whatever profit share would be there between the partners or if there are losses losses would be shared between the partners that is transferred to partners capital so now what all will come in your pnl appropriation account so firstly if we see the pnl appropriation account we have net profit which is transferred from pnl account then we have interest on drawings this we have already understood in first part what is interest on drawings for personal use when partners withdraw some goods or money from the firm on which firm charges interest to the partner which is an income for the firm that is interest on drawings see i have taken a uh, partner's name as a and b so if there are two partners or if there are three partners if there are any interest on drawings it would be an income for the firm and would be credited over here then seeing on the debit side firstly if there were net losses from pnl account it would be transferred to the debit side of the pnl appropriation account then the next part is interest on capital this also we understood in the first part whatever money the partners have introduced in the firm in form of capital on which if firm pays any interest to the partner that is interest on capital which is an expense for the firm so if there are any interest on capital payable to the partners it would be debited over here so see for a firm interest on drawings is an income and interest on capital it's an expense then there could be salary or commission to the partner over and above the profit share if any partner has taken extra efforts or if the firm is giving extra salary to the partners so that would come over here then if the firm is making any transfer to the reserve like transfer to general reserve or maybe transfer to some contingency reserve like keeping some part of your profit aside maybe for some future purposes or maybe some for future contingency so that would be also debited in your pnl appropriation account because we are reducing a profit and keeping it in some other reserve and ultimately after posting interest on capital interest on drawing salary or commission to partner or transfer to reserves finally we get net profit or net loss which is distributed between the partners so that would be distributable profits or losses of the firm which would be distributed between the partners in their profit sharing ratio now if the profit sharing ratio is given to you all in the question you have to share in that ratio but if the profit sharing ratio is not there then as per the partnership act 
the profits would be shared equally or losses would be shared equally between the partners so these are all the items of pnl appropriation account friends this is very important because you might get questions on pnl appropriation account so take the profits from pnl interest on drawings income for the firm interest on capital expense for the firm if there are any salary or commission to the partner okay again over here it is not necessary that salary or commission is payable to all the partner so it can be possible out of three partners the firm is paying commission to only one partner or salary is paid to only two partners so according to the instruction given in the question you have to provide for salary or commission to the partner then transfer to reserves if there are any and finally whatever net figure the balancing figure which you get net profit or net loss distribute between the partners okay so you all understood this pnl appropriation account see over here we are distributing the profit the profit which is earned by the firm is distributed between the partners in form of salary in form of interest on capital and finally in form of profit sharing okay see profit is appropriated up to the amount available for distribution that is divisible profit so if there is net loss and after crediting interest on drawings the balance is still a loss then no appropriation is made and directly the loss would be distributed between the partner one now what does this mean say for example from pnl account there was a loss of uh, say 50000 okay and uh, the as per partnership deed the the interest on drawings are provided to the partner and total interest on drawing is say uh, say for example 15000 Okay, now this interest on drawings is an income. Out of fifty thousand of net loss, we still have an income of fifteen thousand receivable from the partner. See, we are preparing this PNL appropriation account in the books of firm. Okay, so you need to think from the viewpoint of firm. So for firm, interest on drawings is an income. So fifty thousand minus fifteen thousand, there is still a loss of thirty five thousand. Now, if there is a loss even after interest on drawings. then there would be no appropriation that means there would be no interest on capital there would be no salary or commission to the partner definitely there would be no transfer to reserve because you don't have profits so there would be no transfer to reserve and directly the net loss which is there 35000 it would be distributed between the partners so you need to remember this if you get such questions in your exam please be careful that if there is a net loss and after crediting interest on drawings the balance is still a loss do not make any appropriation okay so do remember this point a profit is appropriated only up to the amount is which is available for distribution if there is no amount for distribution how would you distribute the profit there is no profits okay so directly distribute the loss between the partners now that is done so going ahead so now the next point what is charge against the profit and what is appropriation of profit See, there is a difference between these two terms. Charge against profit are the expenses of the firm, and appropriation of profit is like distribution of the profit. So, all the expenses which you provide in your PNL account, which you debit in your PNL account, are charged against the profit. These are to be paid whether the firm is earning profits or incurring loss. So, all the expenses like say office salaries, wages. Uh, expense of printing and stationery office rent it can be even interest on partners loan it can be some managers commission or any selling and distribution expenses in that case depreciation also are all charged against the profit so these are the expenses we need to provide a firm needs to provide in their books even if there are losses in the firm so firm cannot say that this year we do not have profits we will not provide for depreciation that is not allowed so there are expenses of the firm which are to be provided whether there are profits or losses these are charge against profit appropriation of profit a distribution of profit so this profits are distributed only if there are profits if there are no profits appropriations are not made so it is allowed only if firm has earned profits and these are debited to pnl appropriation account so all your expenses which you debit to pnl account are charged against profit and whatever distribution of profits you made to the partners are appropriation of profit so we have taken example over here like interest on partners loan see remember this interest on partners capital is an appropriation of profit to be done only if there are profits in the firm but interest on partners loan is charged against profit have to be provided irrespective of profit or losses okay 
then managers commission and all your office expenses are charged against profit and salary to partner or transfer to reserve are all appropriation of profit so clearly understood the difference between these two terms charge against profit and appropriation of profit and that's all for today's session so we saw the basic format of final accounts trading pnl balance sheet we saw how the pnl appropriation account is prepared and in further sessions we'll see some more terms more adjustments related to the partnership firm so this was your pnl appropriation account okay uh, transferring net profit or net loss from pnl interest on drawings interest on capital salary or commission to partner transfer to reserves if there are any and finally distribute the profit or losses between the partners and we saw the difference between charge and appropriation of profit now before we hand we have a question for you which you need to answer you can give your answers in the comments below see rahil and sahil are the partners in a firm sharing profits in the ratio 2 is to 1 rahil's capital is rupees 1 lakh and sahil's capital is rupees 60000 interest on capital is payable at 6% per annum and interest on drawings is rupees 2000 each sahil to get a monthly salary of rupees 3000 the firm incurred a loss of rupees 40000 during the year ended 31st march 2022 find out the share of profit or loss of each partner so you need to find out the profit share or maybe the share of losses of rahil and sahil in this case and give your answers in the comment box okay and friends if you have any doubts related to this chapter or this topic you can ask us in the comments below also do check out our website www.letshoot.com where we have a lot of courses available we also have courses on class 11 and class 12 we have made fundamentals of accounts course free which you can subscribe and if you have any doubts with your basic Uh, fundamentals of account you can make that strong okay so stay tuned we'll be coming up with more videos on this chapter and on our class 12 accountancy so stay tuned with us don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon thank you